Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plugs. In this video tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this beautiful diamond infusion 360. Basically, this is again a practice exercise and it will allow you to, uh, you know, discover more work environment infusion 360. So let's get started without, without wasting any time. Uh, it will not take much time. So we will start by creating an sketch on the front plane like this. Go to create, go to polygon, go to subscribe polygon and from the origin make a polygon like this. And here's the option for the edge number. So make the edge as 16 and make a polygon like this. Now once done, what I'm going to do now just rotate it so that uh, press L for line and draw one uh, vertical line and switch it to construction and coincident this point to this line. I want this point here. Press D for dimension and from this point to this point make it as 5 mm. Yeah, now finish the sketch. Zoom in. Now click on extrude. Extrude it downwards and the taper angle. Make the taper angle as 45 degree uh, negative 1. So make it inwards. And you don't have to give the dimension and it will automatically be adjusted according to the angle. Now make it a new component and press OK. Now press Shift and N to enable the colors. Now click on this profile and extrude it upwards up to a distance of 0.1 mm like this. Again repeat the same command. This time extrude distance is going to be 0.7 mm and the taper angle is going to be 48 of course it is going to be negative one so make it negative like this very good and press ok now once done click on sketch and on the front plane we will start by making some sketches so first of all from this point to this point draw a line like this and another from this point to somewhere here Press D for dimension and from this line to this line give this an angle of 8 degrees and press L again and close this sketch. Let me just hide the body. This is how your profile will look like. Now repeat the same step for the bottom profile. From the this point to the bottom point draw a line like this and again another line from this point to this line and press D and dimension between these two point is going to be 0.05 very small and press L for line and just finish the sketch like this if I just hide the component we have to sketch here one here and one here now press L for line switch on construction mode and draw one vertical line like this let me just hide the component for now now go to mirror select all these component and mirror line will be the symmetric line and press ok now finish the sketch bring back your component ok let me just select the first of all you we need to extrude these profiles so let's just extrude it like this now bring back the component we are going to make an extrude cut here so symmetric and extrude cut it like this now we have a extrude cut here now go to circular pattern go to face uh, type would be the features and select the last extrude cut that we have created the features and the axis would be the center z axis and the quantity would be 8 and press ok now we have a uh, profile here now what i'm going to do is go to construct go to point through three planes uh, plane through three point and just select on okay point through huh yeah go to plane through three points yeah and select this point this point and this point to create a plane among them now click on sketch, create a sketch and on this plane start by making some sketches now Press L for line and from this point to this point draw a line like this and another one from this point to this point like here. Press D for dimension and the angle between them is going to be 9 degrees. Press L for line and select like this. 
now we have a close sketch here finish the sketch and extrude cut it direction would be symmetric extrude cut the profile like this now again go to circular pattern the features would be the last profile axis would be the center axis this is going to be 8 and press ok now uh, this completes our exercise on diamond press a for appearance if you just want to give it a more diamond look so and wait for your system to open the uh, appearance workspace go to i think others and we have an option for gemstone here and also let me just check Where are the, so I, I, I'm not able to find the diamond uh, around here. I think they have removed in the latest update. So why do I, uh, uh, in place of that, I have used the mirror uh, appearance. So this also looks like a diamond, but uh, here, as, I, as you can see, I have used the gemstone, a blue color gemstone that more looks like a diamond. So that is not a big deal. You guys can manage that. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.